Hello lovely people of YouTube, how are we all doing? My name's Danny, this is Crafty D Sculpting. This week's video we're going to be doing a short little video on how to make hands. I'm currently waiting for more supplies to arrive so I thought I'd knock up a little video just quickly showing how I make hands. I'm not saying it's the right way to do it but this is how I do it. Anyway guys, if you're watching this and I'm still under 500 subscribers why not hit that like and subscribe because I'm giving away one of my sculpts as soon as I hit that magical 500. But anyway guys, without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. And welcome back. We're using our model today is Mr. Left Hand. Say hello hand. And the clay that I highly recommend using on this would be Cos Clay as it remains a little bit more flexible when baked. Now, we're just going to be using a small ball of clay like this and we're just going to shape it out into the rough shape that we need by just palming it out like this and giving it a bit of a curvature around the finger so it looks like that and it's got more of an arc back now we're just going to shape the front of the hand with a slight angle like that and these are the tools that I'm going to be basically using today right now we've got that out of the way with I'm now going to make slight indentations into the hand of where the fingers are going to be. There we go, and cut off any excess. And now we're just going to score down so we've now got where our fingers are. Now I'm just going to pull these apart slightly and using finger and thumb we're just going to slightly twizzle them around until they're more sausage shaped. There we go, just working them I in. Mean, don't have to be too neat at the moment. We can refine all this in a little bit, but we're just trying to just get rid of the squareness. Once we've done that, we can manipulate it all with one of these, a spoon tool, and we can start shaping it a little bit better. Now all I'm doing is just literally curving around using the back of the spoon until we continue getting that more sausage-like shape. There we go, as you can see, moving the clay around as we need and just finding that shape. Now, I have tried to get as much detail in this as possible. Sorry, my dog's walking about in the background. And he's got out the dog flap. Right, now we've done that, we can start just shaping and manipulating as much as we need. And using my hand as reference. Just getting in them finer details before I take off another little bit of clay. Get a bit of a sausage made. Cut off what we don't need. And this is going to be his thumb. So as you can see on the side of the hand there, we're just going to slightly stick it more to the underside. And start blending it all in. I'm zooming a little bit for you. So we're using the spoon tool again, just getting all that blended in. Now we're just going to take a flat bit of clay and we're just going to put that on the top just to get that bit of skin that bridges between the thumb and the forefinger. So now we're going to get all that blended in. Now we're going to use this tool because it's a little bit more refined and we can get into them smaller areas. Do forgive me, don't know the name of all the tools. But as you can see, that's getting all worked in. Now, on the back of the hand, you can see we've got these creases on the fingers. And we're just going to slightly carve them in. To where all the fingers bend. There we go, and we're getting all them in place now. Got to apologise for the video quality as my camera decided to focus more on the cutting board than it did on what I was actually doing, typically. But there we go, there's the hand all coming together now. Right, now I've got this little silicon wedge shaped tool, which is perfect size for just putting in the indentations of where the fingernails are. Now we're just going to gently push down either side. top and again we've gone out of focus and then we're just going to push down where the finger now actually ends there we go right, now 
let's do the rest of the fingers. I'm just going to speed this bit up for you as you've seen me do the first one. There we go, all the other fingers done. Now the thumb. There we go, fingernails done. Again, you can spend a bit more time getting it right. As I said, I'll just knock these up quickly just so I can get a video out. Right, now we've done that, we're just going to take these little small balls of clay and we're just going to put them on where the knuckles would be. So we're going to do the upper part of the finger and at the base of the finger. And we're just going to do that to all of them, get them all in place before we get them all smushed in. Don't want to go too big, just a very, very small ball of clay. go they're all in place now we can go back to our small tool it's around here somewhere there it is and we can start getting them all pushed into place just all smush them all in don't want it too bulky but you just want a slight raised from the actual hand itself now we're just going to speed up the process with this Bit of eight times magic on the editing and we're back out of focus again poxy camera but you get the general idea right, now that's done that's what it's looking like and we're just gonna mark out where the uh, fingers sort of extend we can start getting in some detail now Right now, for the detail, if you want to put like the tendons in or any veiny sort of areas into the hands, I'm just going to make these very, very thin sausages of clay. And we're just going to put them in where the knuckle goes, where the knuckle ends, shall I say, to the base of the hand. Now back to a small tool, small spoon tool, whatever it's called. And we're just going to smush all that in. Again, we don't want it too raised, we just want it slightly raised from the actual hand itself there we go getting all that worked in nicely once you've done that we can then move on to the next part and we're going to do that for every finger but there we go just slowed it down for you just to show you exactly what we're doing there go right now that one's done we can add claws if we wanted to if we was making more of a beastie sort of a hand so we've made another hand off a camera quickly identical to the last one now we're going to use this ball stylus now what we're going to do is we're just going to put some indentations into the very tips of the fingertips so we're starting off with a slightly smaller ball stylus going to turn it around and just open them up a little bit and that's going to be the housing for the actual nails itself so once we've done that we can then get a little bit of clay tear a bit off and we can start forming the nails so all I'm doing is literally rolling down putting a bit of pressure on one end so we get this claw shape and then once we've refined it enough we can cut off what we don't need there we go now usually at this stage I'd shape it I'd put any detail into it and I would pre-bake it I'm not going to do that for this one I'm just literally as I say this is just an example but we're going to now cut the rest of the claws shaped out and there we go there's five claws done right so what we're going to do now is grab our hands now again I haven't done it but what I would usually do is where I made the indentations I would usually put liquid clay in first of all before putting the claws in as I'm doing now Go. we're just going to get the others in quickly 
cut off any excess again if they're too big and you can do that once they're pre-baked as well you can cut off any any bits that aren't mended but there you go one clawed hand now if you want to add fur I generally use a sharp arrowhead tool like this and I just gently in just score down just keep scoring down doesn't matter if you're going over the other areas multiple times just literally just keep scoring until you've got the look that you need and there are different ways of doing fur but this is just a quick easy way just for this video of how I'm doing this one today bloody camera is really getting on my nerves on this one as you can see it's all starting to come together now you can see where I've put the knuckles in on this and we're just going to score over everything now just continue to get that fur as I say just keep going over keep going over until you're happy dogs having a scratch in the background noisy sud joys of having pets eh? nearly done this one now just wanted to try and show as much detail as I can in this video now I'll give the camera wanted to play ball and stay in focus for me and there you go this one's near enough done what do you think guys All right, I'm just gonna add a little bit of detail now again I usually do this before I pre-bake my claws but as I say I haven't pre-baked these ones so I can add the detail in now and just a few little scratches let's call this one complete oh let's put that one back in place there we go now the beauty with cosplay is you can bend everything slightly once it's been baked but yeah at this stage you can bend your fingers into position before you bake it. That one's done and there's the real hand. So there's two different examples that we've got done so far. Right, now we're going to move on to the third example. Now this is going to be more of a skeletal hand. It's going to be a smaller hand as well as you can see the size that we've got. Now we're going to be using armature wire for this one. Now I've used a bit of armature wire, or floral wire should we call it, and I've bent it over and basically wound it together. I'll show you how I've done that in a moment, but for now I'm just going to cut bits and pieces into the size that I need, about an inch and a half long. Right, now this is how I actually make it. I've just got the floral wire, I've bent it in half. I'm going to trap one end between a pair of pliers and we're just going to twizzle it around. Now, in effect, what this does is it gives the clay something to grip onto because it is a pain in the backside trying to get clay to sit on a flat bit of um, armature wire. So we've done that. Now we're going to roll out this sausage of clay. We're in the UK, a hostage of clay. You'll know, the, you'll know the joke. Once we've done that, we're just going to score down the centre. As such. Oh, just open it up a little bit more. Once we've done that, we're going to get one of a bit of armature wire. And we're going to put two thirds of it inside the actual sausage of clay. Before cutting off what we don't need. And then we can wrap that up, smush it all together until we got something like this. Again, we can cut off any excess that we don't need later on, but we just need to get what we need first of all before we can get it into place, and then we can make fine adjustments to it as we need later on. All right, now we've got our fingers. We can just poke them into the actual hand part of the um, sculpt. One, two, three, four, and the fun. Oh, maybe we ain't doing the fun yet. <laughs> right, we're now going to smush all these into the fingers. 
Just get everything all blended in nicely. And there we go, just ramping up the speed a bit. Right, now we're going to add the fun. So again, the same process as what we've done earlier on. We're just going to get that in, we're going to smush it all in, and then add, add bits of clay as where we need. Yeah, just getting some finer detail pushed in. Now I'm not going to bother putting the actual tendons or the veiny parts in, I'm just going to literally score them into place. marking in any details. But there you go. Another hand done. Right, what do you think guys? Hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help me out. As I say, it's just a nice quick short video today just showing you how I make hands. So I really hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you soon on the next one. Take care guys, see you soon.